Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and welcome to another how-to video, which hopefully will be uh, informative and short. Um, today, basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking out the stock airbox and filter in my Civic here. I'm going to be replacing it with this, the Mishimoto uh, Ram Air intake. Um, now, I've seen a couple of videos online, it looks like it's a pretty simple, straightforward install. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let my engine cool off a little bit, because I haven't just been outside driving. And then in a minute, I'll go over all the tools we need and I'll film the step by step process. Um, this should take about 10 15 minutes to do. So just sit back, relax, and um, we'll get to it in just a minute. Okay, guys, so now that we're just about ready to go, I'm going to go over quickly the tools that you're going to need for this install. Um, it's pretty easy. Now, I was lucky that when I picked this up uh, from my friend who was selling it, um, they had already kept most of the intake intact. As you can see, the filters in. The uh, mass airflow housing is connected and the induction hose is already connected. So I'm not going to go into great detail on how to actually put that whole thing together. Um, I'll link your video in the card up in the top right of the screen if you want to go check out the official install from Mishimoto. This is going to be more a how-to to actually get it installed into your car. But anyways, with that said, all you're going to need for um, the install process is a, is a ratchet with a quarter inch extender. And you're going to need a 10 millimeter and a 5 millimeter um, bolt on the end. Um, you're going to want a flathead screwdriver like we have here. And you're going to want a Phillips head screwdriver which is uh, the start tip. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do when we get to our airbox is you're going to want to locate the two screws that actually hold this in place. So, bear with me, the light's not the greatest here, but there's one screw there behind the stock airbox. And there's another screw at the front which is kind of down which is why you're going to need uh, the extender. Hopefully you guys can see that there. Let me try to get the camera to focus a little bit. But anyways, down there is the second bolt. And then you're going to want to go ahead and take uh, take off the worm clamps on the one end of uh, the induction hose and the entire box will come right out. So I'm going to put the camera on the tripod here and we're going to get started. Okay guys, I'm sorry. So here we go. You can see I've removed the, um, the induction pipe from the turbocharger inlet hose here in the vehicle. And um, I forgot to mention, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the mass airflow sensor um, from the stock airbox. So to, in order to do that, it's just uh, two screws. I use a Phillips head screwdriver. And you're going to want to pop the clip. There's a little clip on the other on the underside of right here that holds the, the wiring onto the stock airbox. So just want to go to, go ahead and there's a clip at the top here. You want to depress it and to pull out your mass airflow sensor. I'm going to have to put the camera down to do it guys, but basically you're going to pop the clip on the top here, pop the mass airflow sensor out, and then there's another small clip that holds it onto the airbox. You're going to want to pop both clips. Then you can just go ahead and set it up on top of your battery fuse box out of the way for a minute while we take out the airbox. And the good thing with uh, this Mishimoto housing is that you can use the uh, stock screws from the mass airflow housing to put right onto the, um, the Mishimoto. The mass airflow sensor is now safely on the Mishimoto intake, so now I can continue with going ahead and actually removing the stock airbox from the car itself. And as I mentioned, there's two screws. There's one at the back, uh, right around this area, and there's one at the front. And again, you're going to want your 10 millimeter bolt for that on your ratchet with the extender. So, start with the one at the back. It's a little bit easier to get to. You can, guys. You just want to get to a point where you can just basically turn your ratchet as I'm doing here. And you want to be careful, you make sure not to lose any of the bolts because once again, um, we will be using the stock bolts to reattach the, uh, the Mishimoto intake. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-loosen both bolts. Um, essentially, you just want to loosen them enough that the box comes out. That's going to ensure that you don't lose the bolts down somewhere in your engine bay. Alright, so once you think that you've loosened up your bolts enough, go ahead and gently, gently uh, pull up straight up on the box and see if it wants to come out for you all right guys so there we go that's what your engine looks like with the stock air box out now the next step in putting the mishimoto back in is that there's a couple bushings and collars here you just want to go ahead and remove the stock bolts out of the uh, collars pull the bushings out and then i'm going to show you where to attach them onto the mishimoto intake to reinstall so these bushings and collars you want to take out the screw here put it somewhere safe I'm just gonna put it in my pocket right now so I know it doesn't go anywhere and then there's a little collar at the bottom which you pull that out it's this little copper looking piece here 
you just pull that entire piece out. I'm gonna put that in my pocket as well. And then this is just a little rubber bushing. I'm just gonna go ahead and pry that out of here, like so. And then all you gotta do is do the same for the one on the bottom half. And once I finish that, I'm gonna come back and install them onto the Mishimoto intake, and then we're gonna put the new airbox inside the Civic. All right, guys. So now that both uh, all the bushes and collars are out, you can see them lined up here on my carpet. Now it's a um. If I show you how to install the whole intake, uh, there's a bracket at the bottom here. So this bracket here sits on the bottom, so that's going to obviously be your bottom mounted bracket that plays onto the bottom of the car. And then this, there's a little hole behind the air filter. Hopefully you guys can see it, it's right there underneath my finger. Another hole there, so one of your bushes and collars goes through that hole inside the air box, and one goes on the bracket. Please focus camera. One goes on the bracket on the bottom, and then that's how you install the airbox. And there's one more bracket, which I'll go over quickly right now. You can see there's another hook on the front and that mounts directly to your car. Hang on. So these two holes right here, guys, that is where you're gonna wanna mount the secondary um, um, mounting point for your airbox. And there's two screws. You're gonna wanna want take the one that's more central to the vehicle. So it's gonna be this one here. It's just a little bit closer to the center of the car. Um, and what goes there is this, oops, hey guys. So what goes in there is this little bracket piece. So that's gonna help hold your, uh, that goes into this bracket here. I'll show you how to mount that later. And then that's gonna I'll just hold your air box into the car fully without it shaking and rattling around. All right guys, so as you can maybe see here, I've taken the air filter out of the box. It's just much easier to do the install with it out. So I've put the bushings uh, back where they need to go. I've reinserted the collars. Now I'm gonna do a test fit to make sure that it fits perfectly in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten, partially tighten everything down. Okay guys, so as I mentioned, I've gone ahead and I've just partially tightened the bottom screw. Um, that one seemed to be the toughest one to line up, so I did it first. But as I mentioned, you just wanna, as I mentioned, you just want to tighten it enough so that it catches, just so that the bolt doesn't go flying, but you still have some wiggle room to make all your other uh, adjustments. And then once everything is perfectly lined up, we're going to go ahead and tighten everything down. But be careful, you don't want to over tighten anything. I did that once and sheared a bolt off, and uh, it wasn't very fun. All right, guys, so hopefully you can see well enough with this camera angle. But so now that we have um, the airbox installed, as I mentioned, here's our induction pipe. Remember, we have our mass airflow sensor hooked up to the housing, um, which is already conveniently uh, tied together with the worm clamp. But of course, we're gonna go ahead and make sure everything is tightened down right at the end. So, in order to install the uh, induction hose, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the end with the mass airflow sensor into the air box itself. And then we're on the other end, uh, we're just gonna wiggle onto the inlet pipe. The, um, the hose itself here. If you need to, go ahead and loosen up the worm clamps just a little bit just to help you get it on there. But you want to make sure that it's a snug fit on the inlet pipe. Um, because obviously you want all the air to go in and you don't want anything to escape. All right guys, so I just realized a kind of a small mistake I was making. Um, when you get your hose, you'll notice that it has a bit of an elbow shape. And uh, what I've realized is that that's the way that the airflow actually goes. I was trying to jam it in the other way. That's why it wasn't working for me. So if I hold it here, this is the way that it sits inside of your engine bay. So you see the side here, it says Mishimoto. That is the side that you want to hook up to the inlet pipe, which is right over here. And the other end that's a little bit wider is the end that you want to hook up that comes out of your air filter. All right, okay, so now I have everything sort of loosely fitted. Um, Everything flows nicely. There's no bends or kinks in anything. So at this point, now you can go ahead and uh, tighten down all of your uh, your worm clamps to make sure that everything stays exactly where you want it to be. Okay, then at this point, the last and final step is uh, putting the cover onto the airbox. So here's the cover for the airbox, and inside the package, you're gonna get four screws that come with it. Again, they're, uh, oh, for this, you're gonna want a four millimeter Allen key head. So yeah, you're going to want a four millimeter Allen key bolt to loosen that up there. Again, just be careful. Uh, do them one at a time so that you ensure that you don't lose anything into the engine. Okay guys, so here we see the completely finished product. All that's left for me to do is we hook up the mass airflow sensor. So once again, we just take our wire sitting here, make sure we have it the right way. Gently go ahead and clip it in. 
you hear that little click hopefully there we go that's in Just give it a small tug make sure it's not going to come loose and the good thing with this kit uh, the Mishimoto is that there's a little hole up top so you can go ahead and uh, pop the clip in there that way I won't rattle around too too much in the engine okay guys so I put every, all my tools away off the uh, engine bay so now I'm gonna jump in the car and um, this should be a pretty much a cold start the car has been sitting for a while here so here we go here's a cold start on my 2016 Honda Civic 1.5 liter turbo with its brand new Mishimoto intake Okay guys, so I don't know about what you guys thought, but that sounded pretty good to me inside the car. So, I'm just going to quickly clear everything up in the garage. We're going to hop in the car. We're going to take this uh, baby for our test drive. As I mentioned guys, you can see there's no one of the lights. Lights are warnings on my dashboard, so we're good to go. Couple quick revs. Alright guys, I'm back to the driver. Let's go for our first little rip. Oh yeah, in case you guys are wondering, I've also finally installed the blow-off valve. Um, I'm sorry to make a video of that one guys, like I promised, but uh, I just did it when I went to get my oil change done as well. So, again, um, a second here when we're clear of some more traffic, I'll do one more little pull so we can hear the new intake and the blow-off valve. Alright guys, so I don't know about you, but I think that sounds pretty good. Um, obviously I didn't rip it too much because I am in my neighborhood. I just went around the corners to make sure everything felt okay. Um, but I can say just from that little drive, um, I do feel a lot better throttle response. It does, um, you can hear the sound, so it's obviously sucking in a lot more air than before. And uh, on their website, Mishimoto themselves say that you can expect up to 9... Uh, 9 wheel horsepower gain and 10 pound feet of torque gain just by installing this intake on the stock tune of this car So uh, I'm sure any of you guys out there who want to tune the car will obviously get higher numbers than that But if you just want to do a quick drop in like I did you can expect noticeable horsepower gains So um, with that being said guys if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up Remember to subscribe to the channel um, go check out more of my videos and as I did previously mention I will uh, tag either in a card you will have seen already or um, I'll put a link in the, in the description as well. Um, I'll link the Mishimoto's install video if you want to watch a professional. Um, like a, uh, I'm the, I am no mechanic guys um, but this install was pretty easy to do um, just if you want to do it at home but if you're not comfortable please guys. Take it to your mechanic, take it to your local Honda dealer, get a professional to do it if you don't feel comfortable doing it yourself, or get a friend to help you with it. But um, yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.